watching Local 24 News at 9 on CW30. The season of giving has arrived, but it's also the season for scams. And scams involving our four-legged friends are among the most popular. Local 24 News reporter Darius Johnson has what you need to know to avoid becoming a victim. It's the most wonderful time of the year, a time to get something you've always wanted, but an even better time to get scammed. Scams are everywhere and anyone can become a victim. One of the priciest scams, according to the Better Business Bureau, involves puppies. And there is big money involved, and that's why puppies, because there is big money involved. That's right. Cute, furry, and four-legged friends make a great addition to the family and to a scammer's wallet. <laughs> Here's how it works. If you come across a website that's selling beautiful Yorkies for 800 bucks, then that should be a tip off that there's probably a challenge. That they, number one, it's way underpriced over what the going price is. So they are probably, a, there's a really good chance that it's a scam website. President of the Better Business Bureau Southeast, Tom Stevens, says the price is a dead giveaway, but also pictures. He says most pictures and descriptions are taken from legitimate breeder websites, and those looking for a bargain are often at a higher risk of being scammed. So you've seen Yorkies advertised for $2,500 to $3,000, and then somebody offers to sell you one for $800. Great, good deal, I want it. So they, you say, yes, you should send them the money. Number one, they're going to ask you to wire it or to or do uh, either MoneyGram or Western Union. You send the first payment thinking it's going to be a quick and easy process, but it won't. In addition to 800 we need $200 to pay for shipping. Okay, so you send them $1,000. You'd expect to have your new furry friends soon, but... Two days later, you get an email that says, the dog got sick, we need emergency veterinary bills and we need another 150 or $200 to pay for these vet bills. And so you pay that. Next, they request an additional $250 for a shipping crate. A couple of days later, you get a, another email that says, the dog is, is held up at the airport and we need $150 extra for food and water for the dog while he's at the airport to keep him starving to death. You know? And it goes on and on until you realize you're being scammed and stop sending them money. Steven says over a week or more, they string people along. Some end up paying the $2,500 they would have originally paid if they purchased from a reputable breeder. The worst part is you can't get your money back. Because they won't take credit cards, see? Because credit card, you can always go back against a credit card company and get your money back, and they go get back against the merchant. Steven says most of these scams take place offshore, and there is a way to track down the suspect. Number one, they can track the website, because if, if uh, the website's got to be hosted somewhere. So if you have enough uh, scams committed, and you're talking about a pretty good chunk of money. That was Darius Johnson reporting. Now, there are ways to protect yourself from scammers. The best way, go to a local animal shelter like Memphis Animal Services instead of buying pets online. And if you decide to go with a local breeder, find out if they'll allow you to see the dog. And never trust a website where you cannot pay with a credit card. Now, the Local 24 Storm Team with the Mid-South's most accurate forecast. Hi, good evening once again, everybody. I'm John Bryant, and this is your future cast here. Now, that's 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, 52 degrees. Notice the cloud line. It starts to push on off to the east throughout the day, and really it should be a nice day. We're talking 60s for highs uh, at lunchtime. Check it out, 63 in Memphis, and even as we go into the afternoon, it'll stay sunny uh, for most of the day. And then at 7 o'clock, we're down to 55. That's not bad. It, just going outside and uh, grilling, I guess, if... Uh, <laughs> a lot of people are still stuffed, probably, but uh, anything you want to do outside tomorrow night shouldn't be bad. Sunday, a cold front heads our way, and that front is going to bring some much cooler air in by the time we get into Sunday night. We'll talk more about those numbers later in this newscast. The Memphis Tigers are going back to the conference championship game for a second straight year. Coming up here from the winners of the AAC West on how they got the win over Houston.